Hello everyone, my name is Jayshree Seth and I'm a scientist at 3M. Welcome to Science at Home, because you don't have to be in a classroom to learn about science. In fact, my earliest experiments were at home, in the kitchen. My brother and I would experiment with different ingredients. We both became engineers. I'm a chemical engineer by training and I have been at 3M for 27 years. I work on making sticky adhesives and tapes, which I know you use a lot to tape all your wonderful artwork and projects and balloons, which brings us to today's experiment. I like to call it the blow up. There is no explosion. In this experiment, we will learn how to blow up a balloon using our knowledge of science, specifically chemistry. Are you ready? First, before we do any kind of experiment, we always need to address safety. So I have my safety glasses on. Please make sure you have the proper safety equipment anytime you are gonna conduct an experiment. And make sure you always have an adult to supervise the activity. Some experiments will require you to wear gloves as well. Today we're using common household chemicals that are used in the kitchen, so we're not gonna wear gloves. And if you get any of these ingredients on your hands, you can just wash them off with water. Now let's review what you'll need for this experiment. A balloon, a funnel, an empty water bottle, at least 12 ounces or larger, a measuring cup with one cup of vinegar, which I've already measured out, and a one-fourth cup of baking soda, which also I've measured out already. Once you have all of these ingredients, and you will find your vinegar and baking soda in the kitchen. Uh, you're probably using it for some things that you don't know you, it's being used for. Place this narrow end of your funnel into the mouth of the balloon. So I'm just gonna stretch the balloon here and get the funnel in there. So now the funnel is attached to the balloon. I will take this baking soda, one fourth cup that I had already measured out, and I will add it into my funnel. So it goes into the balloon. We're gonna have to help it tap, tap, tap. Now all this baking soda is going into the balloon. Done. The balloon is almost half full of baking soda. Now, make sure you measure everything accurately. Get an adult to help you. Now, I'm gonna gently remove this funnel from the balloon and place this balloon on its side. Now, I can take this funnel and put it on top of my bottle so I can get the vinegar in there. So this is my one cup of vinegar that I had measured out and I'm gonna get this into the bottle. Pour, pour, pour. Okay, now my water bottle has got vinegar in it, a cup of it. I'm gonna take my funnel out. And now comes the fun part. So now I'm gonna get this balloon over the mouth of the bottle. And if you can't do this, get somebody to help you to do this part. I'm gonna try and get it as low as I can. There, now I have the balloon nice and tight all the way around on the mouth of the bottle. Now with one hand, I'm gonna hold the water bottle in place and then I'm gonna help the baking soda get into the vinegar which is in the bottle. Woo, look at what's happening, can you see? Can you see what's going on? And what is happening to the balloon? So why do you think the balloon inflated? Why do you think it blew up? It's because you formed a gas that filled it up. When you mix baking soda and vinegar together, they react. There's chemistry happening. See, baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. It's a type of substance called a base. And vinegar is a weak acid with the chemical name acetic acid. And when sodium bicarbonate reacts with acetic acid, carbon dioxide is produced. Carbon dioxide or CO2, which is a gas, 
leaves this liquid mixture and expands through the bottle and into the balloon, inflating it. Where do you think you have seen such a reaction before? Well, if you've ever made buttermilk pancakes, you've already done some experimenting with bubbles that come from such a reaction. Cakes like pancakes can rise because of the bubbles in their batter. When you add water to baking powder, it'll fizz, just like the acid and base did here. And those bubbles are just like the ones we saw in this experiment. And they are created by the chemical reaction of an acid like buttermilk and a base such as the baking powder or baking soda we added. See, there's so much science in cooking. That's why I started there. Do this experiment at home and see how quickly your balloon inflates. Remember to conduct your experiment in the company of an adult. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and happy experimenting. Watch for more fun experiments right here as we help you discover science at home. <laughs>